All is peaceful at the Cabo Creek estate. Cicadas are chirping, wind is blowing, until wifey has a come apart. I'm so sick of this place. I need some adventure. I've got to get out of here. Honey, wait, don't leave. What if we just move? <laughs> Welcome to... Cabo Creek! You heard it, y'all. It's moving day. That baby's got to be appeased. She's got to find happiness or it's going to be the death of me. First things first, we got to change this dude into a mobile RV moving apparatus. Now, in order to do that, we're going to have to remove the siding, right? It's got to be back to a flatbed. The best way that I found to do this, and the reason I invented this, patent pending, by the way, patent pending, is so this will go through the fork and it moves in all directions. I drilled a hole in the fork, so it'll do that. Check it out, y'all. <laughs> Easy peasy. Then you can put your chain wherever you want it. You can put it there, you can put it here, you can put it in your sphincter for all I care. <laughs> you want to skedaddle so dag burn bad? You bet I do. Then get on up in that truck. All right, Paul. <laughs> Good job, Ma. step in this total transformation you're gonna have to run out to your five and dime folks and pick you up one of these <laughs> just kidding folks I know they don't even make five and dimes no more <laughs> all kidding aside this is a one inch thick steel plate I had laying around and a two and five eighths inch ball and this is a piece of heavy wall tubing I got out of a boiler. It's not normal tubing. It's probably three quarters of an inch wall thickness. So a very, very solid piece of tubing. Both ends I beveled, okay? 33 and a half degrees or 35 degrees, depending on whatever you want to get. But this is almost a full pin weld on the top and a full pin on the bottom with a fillet weld. Beefy, beefy, beefy stuff, right? I did not want to pick up my RV off the side of I-77. Now, in order to install this puppy, I had to bore holes in the flatbed and then reinforce up underneath this sucker. So let's take a look up underneath this puppy. Okay, folks. This isn't really overly complicated. This is about the simplest way that I had come up with in order to reinforce the plate mount that I made to the existing frame of the dump bed. Okay, so keep that in mind if you do do this. It's just on the dump bed. It's not on the frame of the truck or the chassis of the truck. Simple note. So, these are three by three angle, quarter inch thick. I did have to trim the upper leg, which went against the deck bed. I had to trim it a little bit, uh, stitch welded it to the rails, and then fillet welded it to the frame. 
okay? I did that on all locations that I could get a hold of. This angle iron is gonna run up through and under the deck, so it's sitting on the frame itself. I found that that was probably, or I thought that that was probably important. Now, lining all these holes up is kind of a bear. <clears throat> what I did is I wallered these out a little bit bigger than the holes in the top because I wanted to get my bolts exactly square sat the plate up there put the bolts through the plate then I tightened up these nuts when I tightened up the nuts and a washer because I wallered out the hole a little bit then I just tacked the nuts and washer off where they go I thought about putting a reinforcement sleeve okay because all you structure engineers are like ah I get paid by the pound and I would have totally put in like reinforcement sleeves ah. Well, I thought about it and it didn't flex that much, okay? There wasn't that much flex because of the wall of this angle right here and the fact that the bolt keeps the nut plumb and true anyways because they're big bolts. Now, having said that, let me show you a few little details while I was talking about. <clears throat> so as you can see, the frame rails for the hitch go all the way under the bed and the mainframe rail of the dump bed and are made ultimately supported by that now you could put your fillet weld here uh, if you wanted to or rather a seal weld it's up to you you know I didn't think you know it was necessary so this main mechanism here is the reason why or one of the reasons and I'll show you the next reason as well why I didn't put a drop box right there okay um, you know like every other typical gooseneck because first off rv trailers are built a little bit different than your typical gooseneck trailer and like i said i'll get into that in a minute i just didn't want to put something there that would hit this dude or hit my air tank now as you all very well may know big plate requires big bolts and a big wrench and this requires an enormous amount of elbow grease which i just don't obtain i'm going to implore the missus hey honey Come here and help me out for a minute. All I wanted was a little adventure, a little something, and all I get is work. That man of mine ain't worth tits on a boar hog. I bet he's sitting around doing nothing. All right, honey, she's all tightened up. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my, I'm in hot water now. So in my research of finding a design that would be applicable, I kept running into people that would claim that this dude was getting ripped free of their frame up top every time they put an extension on here, okay? So as you can see, this is meant for pulling. Pull. You might see a little bit of compression, right? But it's mainly pull. Now you go putting a big old lever on that sucker, now you're wrenching. So now this whole mechanism is getting wrenched up like this. And I saw multiple videos of that dude just getting tore off or starting to get tore off the main chassis of the RV. Kinda wanted to avoid that. So you all can obviously see why I needed to go this route. My deck is just entirely too high. And the whole time when I was buying and looking for RVs, I was like, what am I going to do? Because a fifth wheel just ain't going to work. Well, I went to go look at this camper and this sucker already had this fifth wheel adapter on it. I couldn't believe it. I heard angels sing, right? Now, it hasn't skipped a beat for me. I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. And what I did have to do in my case, because if it's a dump bed and I don't have the room up underneath the deck, is I had to build this plate and ball assembly. Easy. Okay, that's it. Nope, stop. You might have to go up. <sighs> it's hard to find good help now, eh?
10 minutes later. Finally, my heart is filled with serenity and bliss. And always remember, viewers, happy wife. Happy life. <laughs> okay.